Hey everybody, it's Racer PS2 and Electronics Repair here. Um, we're going to do a top swap and a switch replacement on this particular one. Uh, as you know, in a video a long, long time ago, this broke on camera. Um, the board's still good, the button's still good. Um, all I do is technically I could just replace this and take it off another switch. Yes, it's just a little screwdriver and you can take this off um, and replace it. But I already have a whole new top, so. And also, a viewer requested me to show them how to properly clean their PlayStation 2. Well, you can actually do it with a vacuum cleaner. I'm not kidding, you can do it with a vacuum cleaner. Um, you can use your fine attachment here. Um, this one's pretty clean because I've already cleaned it. But um, yeah, you can do it with a vacuum cleaner. Um, you can take your top off. If you got dust in here and stuff in here, um, you, this, uh, a disinfectant wipe works really well too. Um, um, when you get in here and you get the laser Mac, which um, and there's dust in there and stuff, and you got dust in here, just open up your drive, take your top off, open up your drive and suck it out the vacuum cleaner. Um, I don't recommend cleaning the lasers on these. Um, if they've been sitting for a very long time, just replace them, it's cheaper. They're about $20, depending on where you get them. They're like 20, 15 to $20 now. I used to get them for 10 bucks a piece, um, to be honest with you. Um, I haven't seen them $10 a piece for a very long time. Um, like I said, this top is still good for like if you need a memory card doors. Come on, focus. Memory card doors. Um, too bad this top was destroyed. Um, what happened was is this right here. They broke the the posts off, and then the screw goes through there. So you don't want your ribbon cable in there. You'll put a screw right through it. So I can use this for other things. But yeah, let's get started getting the switch put in and stuff. And um, if you want a more in-depth video how to clean a PlayStation 2, I, I will get one off of eBay and I will do that for you. But um, like I said, it's just the basic stuff. You just take these off. I said I already cleaned this one a long time ago off camera. You take it out of the case. You take it out of your case, bottom case. If you're not using like a, um, uh, what do they call it? The networking adapter. Keep these on. They keep dust out of there. And it also helps with cooling. So I'm gonna take it out of the case. This one should come out of the case. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. If not, I'm gonna have to put the camera down. There we go. Came out in one piece. All right, cool. Don't break that. Like I said, this this bottom is pretty good. It's a little scuffed up, but. Um, for a PlayStation 2 this age, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, I have a screw stash that I use. I mean, I need some of these. A couple, four of those, six of those, and I need a couple short screws. I have some in my bag of fun over there. I take them from parts consoles that I don't use anymore and stuff like that. Are uh, The ones that have broken front faces with the trays, they're not any good anymore. Um, go ahead and replace this switch. Go ahead and yank it out. This will go in the parts bag for like in case I need a board or something. Like somebody screwed the board up or a button fell off or say, come on, focus. Here we go. 
say uh, an LED burned out on one of the boards, uh, you can swap them for that. That's what I use them for. Because if the power button, if the power light don't light up, that's no good to me. And then what I usually do is I'll take a bottom, a disinfectant towel, and wipe out the bottom and stuff. Get the dust out of here. Whoa. I guess I already cleaned this one, as you can tell, but I'm just, this is kind of an in-depth video how to clean your PlayStation 2. Um, it's a 39001 model. It's going to change to this model and serial number. Because I'm going to take that, that top is getting swapped from a U serial code. that was the original one, the original serial code on it, but I can't swap the sticker, so. And this one's got a good switch, so we're just gonna use that. Top, and this one will be done finally after it's been sitting around for a while. And one thing you don't wanna do is use duct tape. Don't use duct tape to put those back on, you'll ruin stuff, it won't come off. Duct tape is a pain to get off. I'd swap the top on this because I have a top, but it gives it patina. Like I said, like and subscribe and, and keep subscribing and I'm all up to 28 subscribers, which is good. Um, I do this on a part-time basis. Um, I'm going to do a video when the 2DS comes back between the one I fixed and the one that Nintendo um, refurbished. Uh, refurbished Nintendo factory one. Show you the differences and all that stuff. Um, to put your Switch on, like I showed you before, there's a... Oop. Yeah, watch that. By the way, those will come out. There's that little thing in there. I'm going to get that in there and get the top and then we'll get it back in and I'll be right back. All right, we're back, folks. Um, like I said, that's how you clean a PlayStation 2. You can use a vacuum cleaner to suck them out. As you can tell, the switch repair in the top is complete. Looks really nice, actually. It's got all its feet on it now. Um, like I said, let's make sure this one's still fully functional. Um, I already know it's got a little laser, and it's got to make sure she powers on and all that stuff. I'll be right back. All right, we're back full so I had to grab a power cord. Yes, you can buy one of these from me if you'd like. Hey, look at that. Yeah. You can put a disc in it, see if it reads. It should read. It's a brand new laser in this one, actually. Uh, let me grab a disc quick and see if it does anything still. It's been sitting in the clock. It's been sitting in storage for about a month. Let's grab a test, a test disc. SOCOM. SOCOM 2. Big seals. This is one of my first videos actually. I started doing this. Like I said, let's keep the subscribers coming and support me on Patreon and get better content out then and better stuff. She read it. I said that's just from wiping it down. That's I as soon as I get these in I wipe them down. It's got foreign material and stuff on them. Got 
That's that. This is now refurbished. I sell them. There, it so helps support the channel. Yeah, she's reading just fine. Like I said you'll see this one on, the, on one of my earlier videos. Um, it was one of my first videos I did actually. It's a it's a nice it's a nice system. Like I said, I have a parts bag of stuff that I keep from parts consoles and consoles that uh, cannot be repaired. Let's see what's in there. It's just junk or what? But yeah, that's how you properly clean your PlayStation too. It's if you want to take it apart and do that. I usually, like I said, I usually suck them out around the front with a vacuum cleaner. Suck them out through the rear on a vacuum cleaner. Um, then I'll take the disc drives apart. Um, suck all the lint and stuff and dirt out of the, out of there. It's probably asking probably for a controller right now. I mean, we could hook up the TV if you like, but I probably should. Make sure she's still got video and stuff, but... Um, like I said, like and subscribe. Um, the, the repair on this one's been complete. Uh, I'm just trying to keep these systems running. I said nothing better about hardware. Yeah, there's PS2 emulators out there, but I, I prefer hardware. Like I said, we can take an in-depth look at my setup. Um, I got the best of both worlds. I can usually use the hard drive and stuff. Um, I do have a network adapter if anybody needs one. Um, it's the IDE style. But like I said, right now this thing is fully restored. Um, I like to clean them. I like to make sure that they got all the screws in them. Um, like I said, it's probably sitting at um, controller and all that probably. Um, I do have PlayStation 2 controllers, but they're not for sale. They're for my test bench. Um, I have four. I found brand new ones a long time ago, and they were at the right price. And I bought a crap ton of them, and they were OEM Sony ones. But anyways, like I said, like and subscribe for now, and I'll get up another video, and hopefully I get that DS back from Nintendo pretty soon. Ooh, that was gross. Um, soon, so I can do a whatever. Is um, I'm probably gonna dig into that no power issue on the other one. It's probably the port, but um, I want to send it to Nintendo because it's got multiple issues, and if, if it's a no charge problem, then I'd rather have them fix it so I can actually see the repair they did. But I won't take it apart till it's out of warranty. But like I said, we'll get some more stuff on the channel, try to fix some more stuff on the channel. Um, it's been busy. Um, hopefully I can get some more PlayStation 2s in here. Um, get them, get them refurbished and get them, uh, get them sold. Um, it's, it's a dog eat dog world. So thanks for watching.